In this example, we're going to save this bracket as a new component. Now, when we go to File, Save As, we're presented with three options. We can do Save As, Save As Copy and Continue, or Save As Copy and Open. Here we'll have a look at what each one of those options actually does. So if I click on Save As, and I call this Bracket 2, the current document that we're looking at now becomes Bracket 2. Also, it will update any references that are open in the background. So for example, we have our assembly open, and when we did the Save As, you can see that it's replaced the component in the assembly, which was previously Bracket, as Bracket 2. The next one we'll look at is save as copy and continue. So this saves the document with a new file name without changing references to the original file. The copy file will be saved to disk and remain closed. So if we do a save as copy and continue here, we'll call this bracket 3 and just go ahead and click save. Now the file that we're looking at on the screen remains as bracket 2 and if we go to the assembly you can see the references in the assembly remain as bracket 2 also. If I go to my file location, you can see bracket 3 exists as a file in its own right, but it has no references. Finally, we'll look at save as copy and open. So say this saves the document with a new file name without changing references to the original file. The copy will be saved to disk and opened. So if we just go ahead and do that, we'll call this bracket 4. You can see the file that we have open is bracket 4 now, but if we switch to the assembly you can see that still references bracket 2 and we also still have bracket 2 open as a file in its own right. So those are what those options do. Thank you very much for watching.